BoxyCharm May 2020. It was one of my favorite boxes that I've received in a very long time from any subscription service. So I was very excited about it. If you guys haven't seen my review of that or review unboxing of that, then uh, I'm sure Nikki can hyperlink it so you guys can go check that out if you wanna watch it beforehand. But I received a lot of diversified, unique products that I feel like BoxyCharm has not done a lot of, which is what I love in subscription boxes. I love it when there are new and very specified products. So I received makeup wipes, a face mask, a concealer, an eyeshadow palette, and a an eyeshadow brush set. And I figured that is pretty much an entire regimen's worth of products. Of course, there are other things that I'm gonna need in, in between, but I really wanna highlight all of those being used in the same session. So that is what is on my face today. If you stay tuned for the video, then you'll get to see me use each and every one of them. And, and I'll tell you exactly how I feel about each product. All right, here I am fresh faced in pajamas still looking crusty and dusty and in need of some serious skincare. So the first two items we're going to play with from our Boxy Charm for the month of May are going to be the AM Beauty Care Dead Sea Mineral Vitamin C Serum Makeup Removing Wipes and the Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask. So I'm gonna do the Dead Sea wipes first. I know they are makeup removing wipes. However, I really, I use wipes daily, but I really don't use them to remove my makeup. I normally wash my face and get all of my makeup off and then use these kind of wipes as like a, let me go and make sure I got all, like I can tell like there's still, it's taking a lot of stuff off though. Like that's that's what I like to call my neck makeup, which somehow never gets washed off in the shower no matter how hard I try. And it just, yeah, I could tell, I could see it too because it had like a little bit of glitter in it because I, I mixed some, uh, some glow drops in my foundation yesterday. And so I was shimmery and I could see it on my, uh, on my, chest as soon as I sat in the uh, in the lights and my pale skin started glowing and then all of a sudden there was just like little shimmers everywhere and then I was like, um, they smell really good. They feel really nice. I'm a big fan. I normally use, if you guys have been with our channel for any amount of time, you've seen me and probably heard me talk about and use the um, Yes2 makeup wipes, which is normally what I buy. They are significantly cheaper. These AM ones retail at like $17 from what they put on their their pricing list, which I just cannot justify spending $17 on makeup wipes. I know I should, but I, I just can't. I do like these a lot though. I wonder, like, I, I guess I have to get on the their mailing list and see, cause I don't know where you can buy these. So I don't know if you have to buy directly from them or if they are sold at uh, other party retailers, but we'll see. Cause I actually really do. I'm a big fan of these. Neck makeup sufficiently move, removed. Okay. So the reason I went ahead and did this was because the Glam Glow I yeeted it. I, I, oh my gosh. I think I had a heart attack. It's because my hands were slippery from the Dead Sea. <laughs> All right, take two. Let me hold this firmly so I don't projectile it at Nikki again. Um, the, the Glam Glow Berry Glow Mask is a recovery probiotic mask and it is meant to be put on with clean skin. I was reading about it because one of my biggest character flaws is before I sit in the camera a lot of times, especially with face masks, I don't read what to do with the product and I'm just like, how long do I leave it on for? What do I do with it? What is this? So I did not do that today, but I went ahead and uh, used the wipes because they said do it with clean skin. My skin was clean, but as you can see, it was not that clean. Bump the mic, sorry, Mike. Yes, so that's why I went ahead and did that first. It's kind of dried down, so we're gonna go ahead and start this mask. Get you guys a nice little shot of the bad boy right there. It smells really good. It looks like a smoothie and it kind of smells like a smoothie too, or like a yogurt maybe, but it definitely has like a very natural berry smell, not like a chemically one. What you are supposed to do with this mask is put it on your face you let it sit for 10 minutes and then they say wipe it off with a, like a tissue is what they said. I guess like a paper towel is probably what I'll use because tissues will probably um, absorb into it and then just become one with the mask and then my face will just be a mask covered face with tissues absorbed into it. So I don't wanna do that. They don't recommend washing it off unless you absolutely have to, which means that it's probably honestly more of like a moisturizing mask and less of like a, it, well, obviously it's more of a moisturizing mask because I can feel it. It's more of like a nutrient building mask rather than like it's gonna go in there and like rip out your pores and like, you know, purify everything. It's just gonna make your skin look more alive and less tired, which God knows I need because I basically exist in a zombie-like state 
I don't put it everywhere because I need I need help everywhere. Save me mask. It smells really nice. It really does. It doesn't smell chemically, but it is. There's like just a something about it that is not quite natural berries, but it's more natural than some other face masks, if that makes sense at all. You guys are probably like, what the hell did she smoke before she started filming today? And the answer is nothing. I just only had like an hour nap when I got home from work this morning, so. <laughs> So I think I've got it pretty well in there. Um, you can tell it's not like a really thick mask. It kind of looks like I'm, it really kind of looks like I'm wearing like yogurt on my face. So we're gonna let it sit in there for 10 minutes. 10 minutes is the recommended. I have uh, another character flaw. I have many character flaws, but another one I do is I don't listen to how long to leave the masks on because I think that if I leave it on longer, it will help more. So I'll probably leave it on for like 15 to 20 minutes if I'm being honest. That and I also get really distracted and I start doing stuff and I forget like I should probably take this off. But we will come back, we will see uh, we'll, we'll, I'll wipe it off on camera since it doesn't appear that I need water to do that. And uh, yeah, then we'll jump into the actual makeup aspect of this. So 10 minutes later. Okay, so it's been on my face for like 20 minutes. I was doing some stuff. We were researching some stuff, getting a video posted. And uh, then I was like, it's kind of feeling weird. Let me look in the mirror. And my face looked like this. So, uh, so I don't know if it's an allergic reaction. I don't know if this is what it's supposed to do but I'm a little concerned. I'm going to wipe it off with an, a towel. And actually, okay, so I think it's partially the berry color too, cause like, as you can see, that definitely helped it a lot, but it definitely started to make my skin feel like hot and tingly for a minute. Um, and I was a little freaking out, but also I'm normally pretty chill about it. Cause I don't, like Nikki has very sensitive skin. We learned that the hard way. Uh, we did a, we filmed a video where we did um, ma masks together and it was all great and dandy. And then the next day he woke up and looks like he had been stung by bees under his eyes. And we were like, why are your eyes so puffy? And he was like, I don't know, maybe it was that one mask. So um, I've never had that happen with a mask before. So I was like a little worried. I was I was getting kind of freaked out, but as I'm wiping it off now, it's looking less red um, and it's feeling less hot. So I don't, I don't, know if that's what the goal is. Like, are you supposed to feel a little bit of heat in there while it's absorbing into your skin? Are you not? It definitely did make me a little bit blotchy in places, but um, once again, if you have seen any of our videos in the past, especially our skincare ones, I do get a touch of rosacea when I do really anything to my skin, when I touch it, when I breathe, when I am out in, in the public, it just kind of turns red sometimes. So that's not really unexpected for me. And I don't think it's concerning, especially now that I have wiped everything off. But yeah, other than the little bit of discomfort and the moment of panic where I was like, am I having some sort of reaction to it? I, um, I like the mask. I definitely feel more moisturized. It definitely has like a little bit more of a dewy feel to it. It's kind of look like a dewy glow to it as well. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go prime my skin, probably do my eyebrows and everything off camera. And then we're going to come back and show you guys the concealer and the eyeshadow palette with the brushes. I'll use the brushes to do my eyeshadow look using the palette that we got. That way you guys can really get a full idea of everything that we got and whether or not the products were as fire as I, I think that they, uh, they are upon initial inspection of the box. So yeah, and okay, so we're back. I look slightly more attractive than I did when I last left. Um, I do have my uh, primer done, my eyebrows are done. I did concealer around my eyebrows, but I don't normally use like, I use one specific concealer for that. So that's why I didn't do that on camera. Now we're going to take a look at the Trezik concealer that we received in the boxy charm this month as you can tell i have some uh, some discoloration going on around here um honestly it, it kind of always is just a little bit like that because as soon as the pimple clears up another one forms so here we are but i am going to do just a little bit of concealer under my eyes around my nose where it's kind of red and then down here i know a lot of people prefer to do concealer over their foundation that has never really worked for me i am not a huge fan of the way that it looks Occasionally I will do it, um, but normally I like to use liquid concealers, not concealer pens. So this is something that I definitely would do under my foundation no matter what. I'm really excited to see because I, like I've said, Trezik is, is one of my favorite uh, lipstick brands now that I've discovered them from the Boxy Charms and the Ipsys that I have received in the past. And I've never tried their concealer before, so I'm excited to see how I wind up liking that. But it's going on really smooth and buttery. It seems to be a really good color match for me. Um, it's definitely a lighter shade, but for concealer, that does not bother me at all. I like it. It seems to be 
it's a very light weight, which I, I really like. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel suffocating on your skin, um, which if, if you use concealer or foundation, especially liquid regularly, you, I'm sure you probably know the exact uh, idea that I'm talking about when I say you're suffocating. It actually is a little bit less coverage than what I normally would go with. But like I said, this is, I mean, this is a base. Obviously, I'm gonna go back with foundation on top of it, so I don't think it's gonna be detrimental. I do like it. It did definitely help clear up some of the redness and some of the stuff that I was uh, was noticing on my face. So I like it. Um, I'm not sure. I think they said it was like a $26 value. I don't think I would buy it for $26, if I'm being honest, but I do really like it, and I, um, I definitely will use it. Okay, my evolution from zombie to human has progressed further. I have done all of my foundation, my contour, uh, I did straighten my hair. I didn't feel like putting a headband in, so instead I just popped in this little uh, Halloween hair clip to keep my bangs out of my face while I work on my eyeshadow. And now it is time to utilize the last two products we received this month, which is of course the Moda Pro brush set and the Ace Beauté Beauty, however you wanna say it, however it's said. If anybody knows, I would love some help. But it is the lovely little palette they included with our box this month, which includes all of these really gorgeous red and oranges, orange shades, I wish I could speak. Which of course, if you guys know anything about me, if you've followed me for any amount of time, you know that is exactly my color scheme, so I love it. It's right up my alley. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rip open the little brush set. In the video, I said I wasn't sure if I was going to save it for a giveaway or not, and I decided I want to try them, so here we are, committing. All right, I have a lot to work with in this brush set. I did say in the video, but it comes with a shade, a crease, a detail, a smudge, and a line brush. I did go ahead and grab my blending brush just because I really like that one for blending, and then I grabbed what I normally use for my highlight, uh, my inner corner highlight shades because there's a couple really beautiful glitter pigments that I think we can utilize with this one. Now, I think I'm, I want to do something kind of light today. I'm not trying to go crazy, crazy because I'm um, I just am not feeling it. I think I'm going to start with Pink Moon which is this little man's right here. I think I'm also going to use Bahamas, which is the darker pink reddish shade. Uh, I may use a little bit of Sangria, which is the even darker shade than that. And then I'm probably going to use Lotus as my blending shade. And I'm probably going to go in with Maui because it's the pinker of the glitter shades for the, um, the highlight. I might use Aurora, which is the darker gl glitter pink shade for my inner corner or my lid. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Although... I might have lied to you guys, because actually kind of what I chose was more orangey, and I'd, I, we're just gonna go with it. We'll go with it. I'll change my lip color if I have to. It's fine, it's fine. All right, I'm going in with Pink Moon, and I'm just using the big fluffy blending brush for that, because I just want it to be kind of a wide application, and it's really beautiful. It's a beautiful shade. I really like the brush too. I love the texture of it. I know I mentioned that when I was feeling it in the package when I unboxed it. I was just like, they feel like they're really textured, but they're super lightweight, but very sturdy at the same time, if that makes any sense. And I mean, look how well that blended. It just, I think that's a combination both of the, the makeup itself, but also of the application the brush is, is capable of. So I'm a big fan. I'm really liking this. Yeah, I'm a really big fan of, of both the brush and um, at least the first color of the uh, the shadow. Normally, if one color is, is pretty good, you, you kind of have an idea of like the rest of them are gonna be along the same lines. Not normally is there one. There may be one or two that are real duds, but like normally it, it normally that's a good telltale sign if your first color is a, is a very workable color. I am now going to take the detail brush and I'm gonna go in with Bahamas and I'm gonna do just a little bit on my outer corner. Let's give it a little bit of darkness and dimension. I'm gonna go a little bit on my under eye as well. Yeah, I'm really liking how this is turning out so far. I really, really am a big fan of the formula of the, um, the eyeshadow itself and I'm also a big fan of the brushes and how well they are picking up and uh, applying the colors. So really excited. I actually think I am gonna go in with the Aurora. I think I'm gonna do that because it I think it'll it'll play very nicely. So we're going to do that, which is the darker glitter red shade. Okay. I'm now going to take my old blending brush just because I'm comfortable with it. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Lotus and I'm gonna do all the way up to my brow bone. 
and just kind of lighten some of what we've got going on up here. Okay, so this is our final look. I really like everything we got. If I had to say like best to worst, I would say my favorite product probably is the eyeshadow palette just because I really love getting eyeshadow palettes. I love palettes so much. So that was like a, a really great uh, little thing in my opinion. Probably closely followed by the eyeshadow brushes because they're really high quality and I definitely will get great use out of them. I can already tell you from just one use. I think after that it would probably be the makeup wipes because I really like those. I felt like they did a great job of pulling off some of the harder to get makeup residue that did not come off with my face wash, which is a really big deal. And then it would probably be the concealer and than the mask. Uh, just because the, the mask did make my skin burn just a little bit, it um, was slightly off-putting. So I will use it again, but I definitely will use it probably with that in mind. Um, but yeah, I still think this is the best boxy that we've received in months. I think it's the best subscription box I've received all of 2020 thus far. I was very happy with it. I really felt like they did a great job giving us a variety of brands, products, types of products, um, new additions to what they normally do. So I was I was very excited about it. I hope to continue to see these kind of boxes from BoxyCharm um, because this is what excites me about subscription services. One, they're unique and, and versatile and they introduce you to new products and you can kind of discover whether or not it's a brand or a product that you enjoy using. So I'm very happy with it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it was really fun to film it. It was uh, very easy to, to do a kind of a whole look with it with when there are so many diversified products. So if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps us out a ton in the YouTube algorithm. If you like us, then I would uh, very much love it if you would join our YouTube family. Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you see every time we post content, we're always looking to expand our family to in include as many more of you lovely people out there as possible. So other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist.